Hi, my name is Kasia, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my journey to university. Looking at the transitions from GCSE to college to university. Uh, my current subject is medical neuroscience, uh, which is a study of the brain, nervous system, and human behavior. So how did I get here? Let me walk you through some of the major transitions in my education, some of which you might have already gone through and others which might be still ahead of you. Uh, so thinking back to my GCSEs, uh, there are a number of things I'm very proud of, such as my commitment to learning, but there are also a number of things I wish I could have done differently. Uh, better subject selection is definitely on the top of my list. Um, I have done a total of 13 GCSEs, when actually 10 would have been sufficient. Uh, furthermore, not all of those GCC subjects have been truly applicable to my current area of study. Uh, since at the time I didn't really know I wanted to go into neuroscience, I wish I could have um, done more subjects such as ICT with a higher range of transferable skills that come useful no matter what career you go, choose to go into. Um, lastly, as you might imagine, uh, all of those 13 subjects haven't truly played to my strengths, and by doing more subjects than necessary, it actually has worked against my overall grade average. Uh, so why am I telling you all this? Well, because I believe that a strong, confident education start at GCSE sets you up for an easy transition onto college and onto university. For instance, uh, because I took double science GCSE instead of triple science, I've had a more difficult time to then catch up on all the science I have missed out on in college. Uh, thus, my advice would be to think carefully about choosing your GCSE options to ensure that the subjects you select both play to your strengths and also ensure that you are sufficiently prepared for further education and or training. Uh, do not hesitate to ask questions, do your research, and think about uh, what subjects are likely to be of most use to you in the future. Um, on a different note, it is important to remember that um, the GCSE grades do not define who you are as a student or how well you will do in the future. Uh, you can always improve your grades, uh, reset important examinations, or choose a different route uh, to then progressing onto your career. Um, at the end of the day, the important thing is to do what you enjoy, but how you go about it, uh, that can be modified. Um, so I would strongly encourage you to celebrate your achievements and successes and not dwell on one or two exams that haven't quite gone your way. All right, so uh, moving on to college. Um, what should you know about the excitements and the challenges awaiting you? Well, the great thing is um, that you get to focus on fewer subjects. In my case, it was chemistry, biology, psychology, and sociology A-levels. Unlike some of my GCSE options, all of those subjects have been of real interest to me and have played to my strengths. As so, so then it was reflected in my A-level grades. Uh, thus, I would I'd also advise you to think carefully about what A-level options you choose. Uh, get a feel for the content that you will be required to study. For example, read a preview of your course textbook. Uh, to see if this is the subject that you uh, actually want to study. Um, and also find out how you're going to be assessed. If exams are not your thing, then choosing a subject that's more coursework based might be a better idea. Uh, remember that at college um, you are more in charge of your education and thus your course options should reflect this. Uh, college is also a time when independent studying becomes vital. A-levels or any equivalent qualifications are a step up from GCSE and without doubt will require more dedication and commitment. However, if you choose your subjects well, from my experience I can tell that hard work pays off and by the end of it you will come to realize how many more interesting things you have learned 
and how many new skills you have come to acquire and develop. Uh, finally, what about um, the transition from college to university? Again, there is a step up in how much independent studying is required uh, for you to reach your full potential in any subject. However, from uh, my experience, uh, my degree studies have actually been less intense and less stressful than studying for my A-levels. Uh, this is because you now get to focus on only one subject, you have far fewer contact hours, um, and significantly more time for independent study. You also get advice from your tutors, and you get taught by the experts in the field, which always helps. Um, and you get uh, free access to all the uh, materials that you might ever need for your studies, such as ebooks and textbooks. Uh, finally, you can attend um, workshops to work on your academic skills. Uh, what about the challenges associated with moving out of home and living independently at university? Sure thing, all of the changes, additional responsibilities and freedom to make all of your own decisions, they can be a bit overwhelming at first. However, you find that most students are in the same position and soon you find out that together you can figure things out from um, how to do your laundry to how to cook to how to get to class on time. Um, what is the most exciting thing about transition from college to university? I would say getting to meet so many different people from so many different cultures, backgrounds, with so many experiences to share. You can truly grow as a person at university as well as enhance your knowledge and career prospects. Thank you for listening to me and I hope that you have learned something useful today. Feel free to message me on Unibody to ask any follow-up questions or anything else. Um, take care and Goodbye for now.